All leisurely round Spanish classes begin with around five minutes of total immersion in the target language. This is called the baño español. Included in this section of the lesson is usually counting, chanting, and at least one song that is already familiar to the children. Show me your fingers. Uno, dos, tres, ¿cómo te llamas? Te llamo Pedro. Cuatro, cinco, seis, ¿cómo te llamas? Me llamo Carmen. Siete, ocho, nueve, diez, ¿cómo te llamas? Oh, muy bien. Muy bien. So the next one, you remember what is the next one? The key to the baño español is for the children to revise already familiar vocabulary and get straight into speaking Spanish from the first minute of the lesson. Uno, dos, tres, ¿dónde vives? Vivo en Madrid. Cuatro, cinco, seis, ¿dónde vives? Vivo en Sevilla. Siete, ocho, nueve. So the idea is that you keep listening, keep listening to your CD at home, okay? So you follow in your book and you sing the songs and you do the activities because all the vocabulary that we learn is going to be reinforced at home. Dos, muy bien. Next, the teacher Easy. reinforces the numbers by playing a game with playing cards. Cuatro, muy bien. When the child's Cuatro. name is called Seis, out, Rose. they have to shout the number that is on that card. The children have to Ocho, concentrate hard by listening out for their name yes, and watching Three the hours. cards closely. Cuatro, muy bien, Walter. Six. Bien. Ocho. Te. Uh, yes. Diez. Te. Two. Dos. <laughs> Dos. Billy. Cuatro. Cuatro. Hamish. Six. Six. Lizzie. Ocho. Oliver. Yeah. Yes. Rose again. Dos. Cuatro. Cuatro. Rex. Six. Six. Rihanna. Ocho. 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 And Walter. Yeah. Muy bien. We're going to revise the vocabulary, please, Phil. Fine. Um, the vocabulary, the vocabulary we learned last week. So first of all, we're going to revise it. The children are now playing a game with flashcards to reinforce vocabulary they are already familiar with. The teacher holds up the flashcards and asks the children to put up their hand if they think they know the answer. Una casa, muy bien, Max, excellent. Siguiente. Daila. Un árbol, muy bien. Siguiente. Un jardín. Jardín. Muy bien. Siguiente. Walter. Una flor. Muy bien. Siguiente. Rihanna. Muy bien. Siguiente. Ted. Una puerta. Siguiente. Ah, uh, ok. Yes. Un barco. Muy bien. Siguiente. Cheya. Un avión. Un avión. Muy bien. Siguiente. Max. We can see here that the children are very eager to show their teacher what they know and the teacher needs to ensure each child has their turn. It is important to give lots of praise to the children throughout the lesson. Who I haven't asked today? Lizzie. Una ventana, muy bien. Uh, Max, una puerta, and Ted. Oh, this is a new one. Using the same flashcards, the teacher now plays a game to test the children's vocabulary knowledge and memory skills. She lays out the cards on the table and asks the children to memorize them before taking one away. The children then have to say which one is missing. New vocabulary is introduced here. And I'm going to remove one in a minute. 
So one minute to think. You concentrating. Tres, dos, uno. Let's have a look. I don't know which one I'm going to remove actually. Okay, no picking. Okay, let's see. Wow. Rex, did you have the on? Have on, muy bien. Next one. Next one, next one. I'm going to give you less time. I need to check. Right. Uno, dos, tres. Walter? Billy? No? Billy? Just wait. No? Don't remember Rihanna. Un árbol. Muy bien, Rihanna. Next one. Two more. Okay, tres, dos, uno. Naila. Un coche. Muy bien. And the last one. The last one. Get okay, ready. <gasps> Oliver. Children who follow the La Jurionde programme have their own activity book. In classes of older children, there is usually some book work completed during the class, as we can see here. The teacher gives instructions as to what the children have to do and then tells them how long they have to complete that task. We have time, I'll tell you in a minute. You can do excellent, you can do flowers, gardens, um, trees. Anything. So I'm going to give you two minutes to do that. Okay? Yes. Yeah. It doesn't matter. So start now. If you have done it, just just wait for us. I'm going to give you some papers. Okay. How are we doing, uh, Oliver? What is the problem? Oh, yes, exactly. Yes, sorry. Okay, the teacher is reinforcing vocabulary that was introduced for the first time in the previous lesson. So I'm going to ask you the question, how many windows does your house have? ¿Cuántas ventanas tiene la casa? ¿Cuántas ventanas tiene la casa? And the answer is going to be, la casa tiene dos ventanas, for example, okay? One more minute, and... Muy bien. Segundos. What do you think that means? 30 segundos, Max. Not really. 30. What does it like? Does um, it sound like? Three minutes. Okay, tres or treinta. Treinta, but it's related to number three. Very good, Hamish. The teacher now holds up a card in Spanish with a question and answer that she wants the children to act out in pairs based on what they have drawn in their books. Before they do this, she goes through the sentences several times to make sure the children have understood the meaning of the question and answer. And then the answer is going to be, la casa tiene, has, tiene, dos puertas o ventanas o whatever the part of the house is. She then asks individual children a question and they have to answer. ¿Cuántas puertas tiene la casa? La casa tiene dos um, puertas. Muy bien, muy bien. That's a sticker for you. Muy bien. Um, 
She rewards a good answer with a sticker, which the children are very pleased okay, to I'm receive. Going to ask you and you're going to answer, okay? So listen here. ¿Cuántas ventanas tiene la casa? No puertas. ¿Cuántas ventanas tiene la casa? So check in your, in your drawing. How many ventanas? What is ventana? Windows. ¿Cuántas ventanas tiene la casa? Count them. La casa tiene siete ventanas. Muy bien, Max. Excellent. Muy bien. The teacher moves on to the next activity by explaining what it is. She wants them to put into practice their new vocabulary by doing some pair work. She gives the instructions clearly and then asks the children if they have understood. Don't worry because we're going to get used to this. So, I'd like to, you to start talking to each other. So, we are Rex, Walter, please. Say that, Tanya, well done. Now, are you going to stop asking rules? Okay, so, did you understand the question? How many, how many windows does your house have? So you're going to count them. The teacher then moves around the room, listening to each pair and helping them where needed. She also gives lots of praise. And answer one, okay? Then you just talk over and I'll come back to you. Okay, I want to list to hear you two. Okay. Quantas um on our tiene la casa? La casa tiene uno um Muy bien, Rex. Excellent. Now, let's swap over. Um, ¿Cuántas techos tiene la casa? Um, la casa tiene dos um, techos. Muy bien, Rihanna. Excelente. Another question. Let's ask another question. Uh, Rihanna, you, this time you're going to ask Rex. Quantas puertas te, tiene la casa? Muy bien. And your answer? La casa tiene dos puertas. Muy bien, Rex. ¿Cuántas ventanas tiene la casa? La casa tiene siete ventanas. Muy bien. Excelente.